All right, here's a tip from my friend Wink and anyone else who wants to know how to exclude people who open one email in your next following email. Now, there's a couple different ways to address this and I wanna make sure we cover both of them. The first is, what if I sent a broadcast email? So I manually pulled the list and I sent those people a, a broadcast email. Now I'm gonna send a follow-up but I only wanna send it to people who didn't open. That's one scenario. The other scenario is, what if I built it in a campaign and in a campaign, you have a little bit more control over this, at least in terms of setting it up automatically. So let's take a look at both scenarios. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go into my broadcast here. So I'm gonna go to, uh, not there, I'm gonna go to marketing reports. I'm gonna go to email broadcasts. I'm gonna find a recent broadcast that I sent. Here's one now. We'll click on this and we can see the report here how many were delivered, how many opened, how many clicked, etc. right? So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and click on those that opened. Or you could click on those that, op unop that didn't open. Uh, you can do it either way, but the easy way might be to go ahead and click on the list of people who opened. Here's that list. Now I can check the box at the top to select them all, click my actions dropdown and apply a tag. I can then go ahead and create a new tag save and process that action, apply that tag, and then when I go to send my next broadcast, I just go ahead and exclude anybody with that tag, okay? So that's a retroactive way of doing it with your broadcasts, and um, you, know, you can do that uh, to your heart's content. Now, I would suggest trying to set up most of your communications in campaigns, because in campaigns, you have a little bit more control. You can set it up automatically, and you don't have to worry about it uh, going forward. You don't have to go back and do these retroactive actions to pull lists of people who opened or didn't open. So let's take a look at how we do that. So uh, let's go ahead and go over here and just build a quick campaign. This will be a really simple campaign. Let's say we wanna put people in a little uh, promotion sequence. Call this promo sequence. And we wanna take them out if they open their, if they open emails, right? Now, the thing is, we gotta remember is if we put all of our emails in one sequence and we have an email opened goal here, if they open the email, let's say the first email, then that goal will pull them out of the entire sequence. So what we might wanna do is actually break this up into separate sequences for each email. So we'll call this one email one, and we'll make another sequence for email two, and another sequence for email three, et cetera, right? And then we'll have email opened goals on each of those, okay? And then we'll connect our sequences like this, and maybe since we're running a promotion here, maybe you've got a purchase goal at the end as well. Okay, so we can do this. Now, inside of each of these sequences, we might send an email and, uh, and then have a timer. Or maybe in this first one, we'll send an email and then we'll flow them immediately into, actually no, since we're using the goal, let's have the timer after, right? So we'll have a delay timer. Say we wanna wait you know, five days or so until the next email is sent, okay? So we go five days here. And then in the next one, we're gonna send email two and wait another five days. And again, I'm not configuring everything here because I'm just showing how this all works. And then here, we're gonna have another email and another delay for five days, okay? Now, each of these would need to be configured for us to set up the uh, open goal. So I'm just gonna set up one of them real quick. Once we have an email in here, and uh, we'll just go ahead and choose this one, doesn't really matter. Test. Okay. Once we have an email set up in here, and we mark this ready, then our email open goal can be selected here to be triggered on the opening of that email, right? And then we can do that on each of these separately. Now, if I want them to get pulled out of the sequence if they open, then this is how I would set it up. So every time someone opens an email, whoop, it'll pull them out. So this person who opens email one won't get email two, won't get email three, et cetera. Now, following along, if they don't open email one and they get email two and they open it, then it will pull them out. They won't get email three. Now, I would 
highly recommend against this particular method right here. This is achieving what Wink had asked about, uh, but I actually wouldn't do it this way <laughs> because for one, uh, email opens are um, notoriously inaccurate, right? Uh, sometimes an email client will mark an email as opened when it just loads in the preview pane. So if that happens, then someone may not have really opened it and read it, but you're pulling them out of the sequence anyways. Also, the other thing is when someone opens an email and actually reads it, and particularly when they click it, that's actually expressing interest. Those are people we probably should follow up with more, and someone who just ignores all the emails is someone who we should probably follow up with less because that's going to hurt our email sending reputation. So just a couple of things to think about. I've shown you mechanically how you can do it, but let's be smart about the strategy and make sure that we're actually following up with the people who are expressing interest. Those who are opening and clicking are gonna be your hottest prospects. All right, uh, thanks for tuning in for this tip. Subscribe to our channel if you'd like more tips and uh, stay tuned for more.